Come on. Side by side through the second Lesbo, let's go! Come on! Hey everyone, it's Yorker here and welcome to the channel for some Le Mans Ultimate Online gameplay. This is my third online race now and we're going to be racing at Monza. The first two races we're doing the LMP2 fixed over at Sebring and these are how the two races went. Oh, we went in, we, he went and then we got the green flag and uh, we've taken them into uh, into turn one here so We can have ourselves a fun and interesting battle here in this race. And he's gone already. That's uh, going to be us. P3, I think. No, P2. P3 lifted out of it. Nice and easy into the hairpin. Once again, they lock up and go a little bit deep. This is our opportunity. So we'll slip on through on the exit here. Tiny little bit of oversteer. And there we go. Two for two. So as we see, two for two for the moment. Now we've got to try and go three for three. This is probably going to be a lot more difficult though, because uh, I kind of screwed myself over in qualifying and I'm starting in P12. The last lap that I was over a second up on, I went and screwed up in the final corner. Um, and yes, uh, <laughs> starting a bit further down the grid where I didn't really don't really want to be. But we shall see how this uh, how this race actually pans out. Uh, I have no idea in terms of how much fuel I'm going to need to be taking uh, for this race. We'll go with 45 litres. And we'll get ourselves back on the grid. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit more tricky to uh, try and actually land ourselves a decent result. Obviously, the online experience here... Uh, so far has proved to be very very good very very stable I've only had one issue trying to join uh, the previous GTE fixed race around Monza uh, but that's because I signed up too close to the actual start of the event and because of the the server load and everything uh, here on this Friday evening at the time of recording this uh, quite a lot of people are playing and uh, the servers are therefore a little bit slower in kind of accepting registrations and um, properly assigning people to the right splits. I also think that that is not the ideal way to start because we probably picked up a little bit of damage from that and that's really not ideal. Hopefully we can get back to the start before the actual green light because this will be... Uh, quite the chaotic quite the chaotic beginning to this race otherwise green green let's go right here we go underway racing now this is going to be absolute madness oh god I'm not liking where this is going these two Ferraris being a bit Naughty and dangerous to go around the outside of this Ferrari here and try and bunch and close up to the cars up in front. Oh, we got hit as that Ferrari went round. Lovely. Well, we're up in a P12 where we should have started the race. <laughs> Typical turn one things here at Monza. And we've got our work really cut out for us to uh, try and make some ground on the cars up in front. But let's see what we can do. Did have the pace over a number of these drivers in the qualifying. Like I said, I just I messed up the final corner in that on that qualifying lap. Oopsie Daisy. 
I've not actually raced around this circuit before, so this is my first time here. Obviously, practiced and uh, qualified on it, but not actually, uh, not actually raced. And I don't know what the pop is like in these uh, GTE cars either. I'm going to assume, judging by the number of Ferraris, that Ferraris do seem to be uh, pretty strong and probably the favourable car in the uh, in the BOP. I kind of made life difficult for myself by picking the, uh, the Corvette, but variety of this is the spice of life. So let's bring some variation to uh, to this lobby. So either this damage is impacting us here, or... The BOP works very much in favour of the uh, of the Ferraris, because I'm struggling to keep up with it. On the straights, despite being in the draft, it was pulling away. But it's good to see that the online experience here on LMU is uh, rather nice and stable. Obviously, it's got a matchmaking system. Uses uh, the EO, ELO ratings and formulas to uh, adequately match make people with each other at similar uh, competitive strengths. Didn't want to shift down into third, that was silly of me. And whilst the first two races were relatively easy, this one is proving to be a little bit more challenging with other players who are at uh, a similar level to myself. Obviously, system starting to uh, gather data on myself, on me, in terms of uh, my overall driver rating, how quick and successful I am compared to uh, other players and how clean and safe I am, and is therefore matchmaking me a bit more appropriately against other competitors, and I'm pretty sure we probably now lost the draft on the uh, the Ferrari in front. That is quite the send there by that Ferrari. They're going on very, very defensive. Time one forty nine point five two. It's a side by side coming down the straight here. We got a bit of a run on them though, by the looks of things. They did manage to get a slowdown. Good on them. Just about managed to avoid making contact with them there, but that's gone and held us up even more and cost us a lot of time to the cars in front. So, we got to enter hot lap mode now and uh, really work on trying to close this two second gap down. It's probably going to be a little bit difficult. Unless the cars in front goes make mistakes, cost themselves half a second in a corner or so. Oh, really moving and sliding around a little bit there in the, uh, the braking zones. This is a fixed setup race, so I haven't tweaked it, but I imagine it's running relatively low wing here at Monza with it being a da uh, low downforce track. And therefore the car is uh, moving around a bit more in the corners. We've probably also got uh, dirty air at play as well with the cars in front. Just over 10 minutes to go. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's my Corvette teammate. He's had a spin. That's allowing us to get closer to the cars up in front. Which is what I want and need. Looks like uh, one of the Iron Dome's Porsches is uh, leading this train of cars. Three Ferraris behind it. having the oversteer there through the middle of Ascari. 
Right, we should be back within the draft now. Still, would like to be a fair bit closer. That was a temp gained. Time 148.33. Best lap so far. Here we go. Back on the rear bumper of the Ferrari up in front. But it looks like they've got the grunt and the acceleration coming off the corners. I might have a little bit of a top speed at the bottom. Mm, nah, no. I'll retract that. Big look up there from... I think that was a Porsche ahead of the pack. Up there, coming into the second Lesmo. This train seems relatively stagnant. There we go, right in the toe now of this Ferrari. That's the move. That's the position. Lovely jubbly. Made a bit of a mistake there. Now look at this, it's starting to come back at us now. We are into the top ten. Yeah, of course we are. Called that spinning earlier. I was going to say, let's try and get ourselves up into the top ten. But we're already there. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves up into the top seven. Let's see if we can get to the head of this this pack. is uh, rather keen and eager to get past the uh, Iron Dames Porsche. This is holding up the Castle Racing Ferrari in front of us here, up a little bit. Now we to close in more. from the car behind, which is good, even if it was a little bit hairy there through uh, Scari. Let's see what we can do in the Parabolica. That is exactly what happened in qualifying, but I actually went round and spun. I need to stay off that kerb, so we're now very, very vulnerable. Of this Ferrari to our outside here. Give him a bit of a squeeze. It's like a drift. Lighting up the rear tyres, holding on to that position. Oh god. That was a one-handed drift as well. Is that side by side? Pretty close. And that was pretty close. Coming in from behind as well. Just over four minutes to go. Stay off those inside curves, Yorkie. They are what is killing you. They 
they are quite grabby, which is really quite annoying and frustrating. these cars I think uh, moves are going to start becoming a little bit more desperate fairly soon all oh, the Porsches make a horrible horrible mistake we have to slow down so much there nothing we can do about this Ferrari so take one lose one Way more fuel than uh, what is needed. Interesting, track limit system. They're, they're at work as we can see. So it looks like we've got a total of three points worth in uh, track limits allowance. Finally, you don't exceed that in the race. It should be all good. And I'm picking up 0.25 and 0.5s here, there, and everywhere. I've got one out of three points so far. I have to be careful to this last lap or so. Yeah, I'm over still there, try and pick up the slipstream of this Ferrari here. Still on the exit. It's not a good run off the corner by them. <laughs> that was awfully close. Side by side through the second Lesbo, let's go! Come on! I can't see where they are. I just know that they're there on my right hand side. There it is, there's a nose. Through. Wow! That was some uh, that was some good racing. Fair play. Rain, awesome stuff. Nice and smooth through the final corner now. Secure this P9. Not the greatest of races. Would have liked to be in a little bit further up ahead. As I said, screw myself in qualifying, but nonetheless, that was. Uh, that was a pretty intense and fun finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. That would be very much appreciated. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Until the next time, have fun, stay safe, and take care.